What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the uh, cool, amazing, epic uh, YouTube channel. I am most certainly the uh, host of the show slash episodes slash channel, etc., etc. Uh, we are most certainly going to have an amazing uh, show for you guys today. This is actually episode three of the Dip and Spit mini series. Uh, where we basically have a bunch of dip, a bunch of chewing tobacco and other uh, different disgusting tobacco products that we are going to be uh, reviewing and taste testing, uh, et cetera, et cetera, for you guys and also for myself. Uh, you know, I think we're on number three. Yesterday we did a Appalachia. Uh, made in Tennessee chewing tobacco, which was, you know, kind of all right. And uh, before that, episode number one, we had a <clears throat> Skull Snooze uh, mint flavored, which was absolutely appalling. It tasted like, you know, some sort of uh, poony, uh, fuzzy little minty candy uh, that made you want to, like, you know, uh, regurgitate uh, you know, your, your, uh, your throat, uh, you know, cause it was just that flipping annoying. Uh, but this episode, we're going to be trying a quote unquote real, uh, dip, real dipping tobacco. And, uh, on this episode, we will be, uh, having, uh, Timber Wolf, uh, long cut, uh, mint flavor. Timber Wolf Long Cut uh, Mint Flavor. Uh, before we, you know, go any any farther all too much with this, uh, such as dipping it and tasting it and so on and so forth, guys, the warning label, uh, you know, is, is meaning uh, something. Uh, warning, this product is not a safe alternative to cigarettes. Also, this probably can cause uh, cancer of the mouth and so on and so forth. So uh, children, I think under the age of 21, please hit the road, Jack, and uh, don't you come back. Now, I know you're probably not going to listen because you are a certainly bad, bad child. But nonetheless, guys, uh, on this channel, we don't condone uh, tobacco use or even the uh, buying of tobacco, uh, you know, so please, this is more or less for quote-unquote research purposes. But without further ado, we're going to uh, see uh, what the heck this tastes like. Now, I don't, I, hopefully I don't like, you know, absolutely uh, uh, croak off of this because seemingly this thing has already been opened. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know, you know, yesterday we tried, uh, you know, a, a thing of chewing tobacco and it had a hole in it. So hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully it, it doesn't like absolutely conk me out, but this is the quote unquote, uh, real chewing tobacco or excuse me, dip. So we'll see what the heck happens with that. I have no flipping clue. I got my little uh, makeshift uh, spitter slash, uh, you know, uh, poor man's drum set uh, drum waiting to go. And we're going to see what the heck is up with this, guys. This right here is the uh, Timberwolf mint flavored uh, dip. I don't know if that's too much. You know, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not really worrying about it. But if I start choking, please help me. See them fingers doing that action, buddy? Mm. Mm. 
not all too bad. The, the uh, flavor is absolutely faint. So I'm probably going to, you know, more or less attest that to number one, it being half uh, flipping open. And uh, number two is probably being probably about three or four years past its um, sell by date. Um, the flavor is like really faint, and I don't know if that's for uh, Timberwolf, you know, uh, you know, across the board. I was thinking more of like a pungent, you know, smack in your face flavor type, uh, type uh, profile or so on and so forth. I can taste the mint, but it's not really that minty. And uh, I mean, I don't know the uh, nicotine level in this, but it's seemingly not that, you know, all too high. Not very impressed with this one. I mean, it, it doesn't have that much flavor. You know, um, not really. I mean, it's it's suitable for like, you know, kind of like an everyday type, uh, type dip if you're not really looking for anything all too crazy. I don't think it's probably going to be the quote unquote, you know, uh, top of the, uh, the line uh, and price point. Like, I mean, when I got this stuff, it was probably around, you know, 30 to 50 cents a can, which in comparison to some stores, I mean, it's just absolutely, uh, you know, bottom of the, uh, the barrel type, uh, prices. Mm. But, um, crazy enough, I'm just not impressed. The Appalachia that we uh, tried or that I tried yesterday, that was really flavorful. Now, I mean, you can you can probably, you know, uh, compare the Timberwolf Wonka to maybe, you know, like uh, another, you know, low brand type, uh, you know, dip. But as far as that other thing, I think the Appalachia thing absolutely uh, wins in flavor. But this might give you more of a quote unquote, uh, you know, kick that some people are looking for. I think some people are looking for some sort of like a nicotine kick, you know, et cetera, et cetera, like a little buzz. Not all too impressed, guys. I'll try and keep this in until we're around 830 now. Try and do mm, 11. Let's do 11 to 12. Nothing all too much. I mean, seemingly the inside of the uh, the thing, other than me, you know, grabbing the flipping clawful. I mean, you know, usually uh, some of the times for what I heard and kind of seen and, and past experiences and so on and so forth, like the quote unquote uh, higher type price brands, they skimp on the uh, tobacco itself. So you basically get a can and like, you know, 15% of the flipping can is absolutely gone after you, you know, sit there and you pack it or whatever, however the heck you pack it. So kudos to Timberwolf to seemingly like, you know, not skimp all too much on the uh, tobacco, but, um, you know, I don't know. It's, it's not all too much crazy right now. You know, I'm talking about the uh, nicotine uh, buzz. Crazy enough, and a quick story, back in the day, uh, all the uh, kids thought like Copenhagen was, you know, the quote unquote uh, best in the whole flipping thing. If you dip Copenhagen, you were the flipping man. 
And uh, my gosh, I think I got like a little pinch back in the day of Copenhagen. My gosh, buddy, I was like floating, like like in the flipping stars and stuff, buddy. I was like, what the heck is going on? Absolute noob. Absolute noob. But I mean, you know, for a low priced uh, can of dip, I mean, I would just say, you know, bust out a couple of more dollars and get like a better brand. I mean, I'm not trying to knock it or whatever, but it's just, it's not my uh, type of, type of thing. You know, it's all right. It's kind of dull in flavor. You know, I was thinking more of like that, you know, uh, excuse me, that's around 11 minutes. I was thinking like, you know, that kind of low brand name, you know, fake mint, like smack in your face type thing. I didn't get that. I can maybe, you know, blame it on the uh, expiration or it being half flipping open, but not a fan, buddy. Not a fan, but we still love you, Mr. Timberwolf. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, sadly, I'd probably have to give that around a four, you know. I mean, probably guys love this stuff because it's cheap and, uh, you know, it gives them what they need and, you know, the nicotine, uh, whatever the heck they need and that. But I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan for the uh, Timberwolf Long Cut. If you've tried uh, Timberwolf Long Cut, please let us know in the comments below if you like that uh, brand of, uh, of dip. Me personally, not too much of a fan. But, I mean, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So let us know in the comments below. If you like this episode and this type of content, please hit the like button. If you absolutely hate it and think it's trash, please hit that dislike button. Uh, you know, subscribe to this channel, please. Uh, if you don't uh, want to uh, subscribe and you're already subscribed, unsubscribe to the channel, please. Uh, but that's basically about it. We probably have a few more to come. I'm looking right now at a red seal. Uh, Copenhagen's uh, thing is completely shot, so I don't know. I'll probably have to maneuver across that because I'm going to show you guys the Copenhagen thing. You, you want to tell how old this stuff is that I've been uh, messing around with? Look at this can, guys. Look at that. Absolutely gnarly. But you know what? I think we can still salvage it. <laughs> but uh, as far as this, guys, it's probably going to go sadly in the trash. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, please take care of yourselves, your family, and your friends, guys. This thing is most certainly still kicking like a flipping horse, whatever the heck we're going through, the pandemic, epidemic, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, um, but yeah, that's basically about it, guys. We're probably going to do a flipping cologne review uh, sometime today when I feel like it and uh, whenever the good Lord uh, intends, et cetera, et cetera. But until then, uh, take care of yourselves. You know the drill. Love, peace, and please quit spreading that disease. Adios, guys. Adios.